Guy Martin is in Loughborough, rebuilding a replica of locomotion number one, ready to run again on the 200th anniversary of its historic first railway journey. With seven months left to the anniversary, it's all hands on deck to get the build completed in time for track testing. All right, boss. Yeah, you're getting on. Today, Guy will be working alongside the boss, David Wright, learning one of the key skills of the steam age. Where do you want us? What can uh, I do? Not that, I'm, not that I'm much use, <laughs> but I'll get, I can get stuck <laughs> no, in. be all right, doing a bit of hot riveting. Yeah, yeah we'll go We're going to put the chimney together. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah, put the right. top half of the chimney together. Same job. Steam locomotives were the most advanced machines of their day, harnessing huge pressures to produce their power, and hot riveting was absolutely central to their production. Right, we have a go? Yeah. So you start off with a rivet, a bit like a mushroom. So we heat it up, heat it up, until the, start, the, the surface of the metal just is on that point of moving. You can just see it bubbling there. moving, yeah. That's what we want. Cheers, mate. To be quick, you've got to be quick. Heat is just ripping out of that rivet. You need to be ribbing it up as fast as you can while the metal's still in a malleable state. Put it in the hole, put the press behind it, expand the press out. The vibrating gun vibrates the red hot rivet, splays it into the hole. Beautiful. Once we'd riveted it up, yeah, let it cool down so it then contracts and pulls the two bits of metal together. Hot riveting enabled boilers to withstand unprecedented pressures and produce enough power to move their own weight and tow a train of wagons. Just like that. Yeah, so about 18 months ago, we were putting a boiler together in the middle of summer, and we did something like 500 rivets in the two days, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, you earned yeah, you your keep, though. It was red hot. The best hot riveting teams could average 10 to 15 rivets per minute, and were rightly celebrated for their extraordinary skills. Right, what's the plan this time, then? So, I'm going to do the rivets. So, yeah, Martin will do the heating. Yeah. I'll be ready with the jam, and then you'll do the riveting. This is the more skilled bit. Yeah, and if I, if I knacker this up, um, it's a big job getting the rivet back out again. You just say something I'm not used to, and I don't want to knacker it up. I want to make a good job of it. It matches in with mine, so it'll be all right. It'll test working relationships, this job, won't it? Not the neatest, is it? You can make that look really nice just with a bit of light tooling. Slowly got better. Number 20 was definitely far better than number one. All your right. best one so far, I'd say, is that. Happy? Yeah, all right, but all right. It's, 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 it's all right. It's, it's no, not... well, they all look the same now, don't they? The ones he did and the ones you did. Not a million miles off. It's your first time doing it. Yeah. It's just working in metal, isn't it? Making metal move, that's what I like. Fettling. After a day's riveting, the new top section of locomotion number one's chimney is as finished as it can be. We didn't go right to the top because for it to go on the main line, it's got to be no taller than 13 foot because of the electric lines on the main line. Um, but the original dimensions are a bit woolly. I think, I think I'm right saying they're a bit woolly, so we don't know the overall height until it's finished and bolt this on and then get the measuring stick out. I think it's, yeah, better off having a bit, a bit there of leeway. Can, bit of leeway, that's the word, bit of leeway. Work on the replica is now nearly completed, but there's still a lot of work for Guy. 